Hello everyone! So, you might be thinking, hey, you're not on your way to England yet, you're still in your room. Yes, I am, I just keep lying to you. <laughs> I know I said my next video would be when I go to England, but hey, I had more stories to tell. Today I want to be talking about weird hospitality habits. People who work in the hospitality often get a few quirks out of them. Uh, I've been working as a waitress for 10 years now, and next to that I, of course, grew up in a restaurant. So some of these weird habits might just be my own weirdness of growing up in this situation, but I think some of them are quite relatable to people who are working or have worked in the hospitality. Some of these are quite innocent, like if I have to pour drinks for a group of friends, I make sure all the drinks are level. I like to make sure that everyone has about the same amount of drink in their glass. And connected to this is when I am with a group of friends at my own home or at their home or at the party, I like to make sure that everyone has a drink or has food and is comfortable. I'm, I'm always a little bit of a hostess, I'm always a little bit of a waitress. I, uh, yeah, that, that's just part of me, I guess. But the weirdest habits happen when I go out for dinner. So if I go to a restaurant for, for dinner or if I go to a cafe just to get a drink, I can't really go in a normal fashion. My brain just doesn't work that way anymore. So when I enter a restaurant, like normal people would be, where can we get a seat? Carla goes like, oh, they have a nice concept or hey, this doesn't really feel very homey or oh, they have a wood thing going on. I immediately start analyzing. I don't know why, I just, I just can't walk into a restaurant or a cafe without immediately, you know, comparing and looking and analyzing what they're doing there. We get a seat and when you get a seat, you get the menu. Normal people open the menu and pick out a drink or are like, hey, they have an interesting food on the menu. Carla goes, oh, they have an interesting concept. Or, hey, the prices are a bit higher than at our restaurant. They have different food items than at our restaurant. I just can't stop comparing it to what I already know. So that's very <laughs> annoying. It actually makes me take longer to find something I want to drink or eat because I'm processing all these things in my head. When you're ready to order, the waiter comes to your table, of course. And I'll be honest, I judge every single one of them. Like, I'm a waitress myself, so I'm always looking like how they approach the table and if they're kind and nice to us and hospitable and how they put plates on the table and just the whole interaction. And <laughs> I sometimes feel a little bit bad for them because I always share my thoughts with the people at my table. <laughs> Some of them are not very nice and sometimes I just have only compliments for them, of course. In my opinion, the waiter or the waitress is like 50% of a restaurant. You can have the best food in the world, but if I have a very rude waiter, I'm not coming there again. So I think it's so important that the, the waitress, the hostess, the, the waiter does a good job. So, you're at your table, you're waiting for your food, and then the phone rings, which is quite normal in the restaurants. But I have a very particular reaction to ringing phones. Because at our home, our home phone is also the phone of the restaurant. So, it's very important that someone picks it up, because someone is trying to call a restaurant and you need to, you know, pick up the phone. So, in our house, it's kind of a rule that in one ring or two rings, my dad gets it. If it rings three times, you start paying attention because if my mom does not get it, I need to get it. So at the fourth ring, you just get up, you drop everything you're doing and you just rush down the stairs to get the phone. Because someone is trying to make a reservation or inquire information. So if I'm at a restaurant and a phone rings, I'm like, pick it up. And if it keeps ringing, I'm like, pick it up. 
and if just if they just let it ring for like three minutes or something I'm like pick up the phone someone is trying to contact you I know someone is trying to make a reservation or something you're they're guests like even if they're just calling they're guests so you need to pay attention to them so it annoys me very very greatly if people just let phones ring pick up the phone people after we had dinner of course there are all plates and cutlery and bowls on the table and normal people would just wait until the waiter gets it I don't <laughs> I always start stacking plates and bowls and in a manner that the waitress can very easily just pick it up and take it away I even collect all the cutlery on one plate and I slide the knives under the forks so that they don't move when you pick up the plates. There's a nice hospitality tip for you. Some people find this very weird that I do this because they're like, the waitress should do this. But I know that sometimes it's just really hard to reach something on the table and it takes time to stack everything nicely. So I just like to help them. If I have very little things on the table, such as just my glass, if I had a drink on a terrace or something, when I go inside or when I go to the bar to pay the bill, I take my glass with me because I'm nice. It's, it's such a small gesture, gesture to just bring it to the bar because then they don't have to clear out the table anymore. I would just feel very bad to leave it there and, and make them pick it up while well, I'm going inside anyway. Some people find this very weird, by the way. I don't know why. So after dinner, of course, you have to pay the bill. And personally, when I'm being a waitress, I find it quite annoying when people need to split the bill. Because instead of just doing one payment, you have to do five payments for one table. The weird thing is, I always ask to split the bill because I'm a poor student. It's just easier to split the bill at the restaurant itself than, than let someone pay the whole bill and then you have to like calculate what you need to give that person. It's just, I, I always like to just split the bill at the restaurant, even though I know that it's very annoying. So these were a few of my weird hospitality habits. Uh, please let me know down in the comments if it's just me or if you have experienced the same things or maybe as a not hospitality person you do the same things and I'm just a little less weird than I thought. That would be nice. If you liked hospitality stories like these please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. I have a ton of them to share so please let me know. If you enjoy my videos, consider hitting the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Next time, I am really going to England. So I will see you guys very soon. Bye! Vote for this fucking vlieg. Be honest, fucking vlieg. Alweer!